concert. Yeah. Tonight we have John Albert Thomas who is here from Memphis and he has an amazing new album out that I'm, I'm gonna let him tell you about but it is the most amazing cause behind it and I really encourage you to, to take a listen to it by his CD. Um, it's just a phenomenal a phenomenal album and project that he has done so I'll let you I'll let him tell you about that. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna take turns playing tonight I'm gonna start off with a couple of songs and we have internet watchers on. Hello, everybody online. And <laughs> um, this first song I'm going to play is one of the oldest songs that I have. It's one of the first songs that I wrote when I was 14. Um, I, was, I was not a good teenager, <laughs> which many of you here can attest to. <laughs> yeah, I'll go. Don't worry. I, uh, I really struggled as a teenager. I was 14, and I felt sad, and I felt alone. I didn't feel like anybody liked me, and I didn't feel like I belonged. And, and I felt incredibly flawed as uh, a young person. And so I ended up writing this song, and it's called Not Without Flaw. And it's, uh, it's one of the very first songs that I wrote that is a complete 100% completed song. So, Not Without Flaw.
you. So I have um, a bunch of new music that I've written over the last, I don't know, five or so months for a new album that I'm going to plan on releasing in early 2012. And I can't just not play songs for me from that album because they're like the ones I'm working on and they're my favorites for the moment. And so I've been working on this one. Um, it's actually three songs that I started composing all together and I couldn't really go directions with them. And so what I did is I combined them all into one song and the name of it is Trilogy. Thank you. 
John Albert Thomas. And like I said, he's here from Memphis, and he is awesome. So welcome, John. Thank you. It's a real privilege to be here. And uh, this time I got to bring my wife along, which is a real treat. Uh, we're just thank yes, she is. Um, 15 years in June, so we're excited about that. And, uh, and, and I have a, what's that? Four kids? Yes, I have four kids. I have four kids. They're watching right now. Yes, yes, this is a vacation, much needed. <laughs> but uh, no, we love them, and we're excited that they can watch online. And uh, um, <clears throat> Michelle is a great hostess, makes me feel very welcome. And, and Becky, and she's showed us, I just love the mountains of Salt Lake City. And uh, it's, it's, it's really, uh, yeah, Mississippi River is nice, I guess. <laughs> but uh, the, the, the mountains surrounding Salt Lake City are, uh, are a sight to behold. So uh, we're enjoying our, our stay here. Anyway, the uh, album that Michelle had hinted at earlier is a project that I worked for two years on. And, and it was really a project that I feel uh, God laid on my heart. And it was uh, a project where I'm trying to minister to families who have lost a baby. and. And the way that I'm doing, the way that I did it was I interviewed 10 families who did lose a baby and composed a separate piano piece for each one of them, something that each one of them can kind of remember, you know, not just like a, a photo or something, but something they can hear floating through the air as they walk around the house. And, and, and uh, so it's been a real uh, emotional experience the past two years, and I just released it on um, April 22nd and so we're really excited to share this music with you. I'll be playing five selections from it and the first one is called Fly Away and uh, this family, uh, this song was uh, uh, inspired by uh, Grace Lynn and uh, her family every year at the same time releases balloons and that's something that, that's very important to them and so Grace I wanted to capture Grace Lynn, Grace Lynn is uh, the baby's name oh, okay so uh, every year when they release the balloons, I just wanted to capture that, the, the, the idea or the feeling or the thought of kind of floating up. So this is what I came up with for that.
thank you. Um, <clears throat> this next piece that I want to play is called Heavenly Peace, for obvious reasons. Uh, this was inspired by baby Isaac, and uh, the family, when I, when I interviewed them, really, uh, that was the hope that they have, was someday I would get to see him again. And so I was trying to capture, uh, you know, that, the peace of mind, as well as the peace that this uh, baby must be experiencing.
Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this next piece is called Streets of Gold, and uh, it's inspired by a little boy, Jaden. And what I was trying to capture was what it would look like or feel like to dance on Streets of Gold. So this one's a little more upbeat, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. In the corner. That's okay. Say hi to you. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> the next piece that I would like to play is called The Velveteen Heart. And uh, the story is about this uh, baby Audrey. And um, <clears throat> the parents were wanting to get this rabbit to give. Uh, as a kind of a gift for the baby, and uh, the uh, the rabbit, uh, they never got to it, and then they lost their baby, and so they're trying to explain to their other children, you know, what was going on, and so uh, 
they went back to the store to look at a rabbit, uh, to get a rabbit, and she pulled the rabbit out of the, the toy chest. All she saw were some ears. So she pulled that up, and it had a, had a stain on the, the heart of it. And, um, and so they said, this is, this, that's the perfect rabbit, and so they put a Band-Aid on the heart. Well, at first it, it had uh, uh, the stain on the heart, but after um, their little sister died, they put the Band-Aid on the heart and helped explain to the little kids that she's all better now, okay? So uh, that, whole cat, that whole story really caught my attention and really uh, I wanted to focus on that heartbeat and, and uh, that, that rabbit, so. Velveteen Heart. Thank you. Um, it's this uh, the album's been a real um, at least for those ten families. It really meant a lot to them, and uh, and uh, so I'm hoping that 
that'll help a lot more too. So uh, on the same CD, I've got a, a the last song is not related to that subject, but it's one that I felt uh, felt very good with this album. It's called Scandalous Grace, and it was inspired by a 21 year old girl who. Uh, uh, she had just had a heart to reach out to people who were uh, maybe down, or, down and out, outcasts of society. And uh, so I was trying to capture what would that look like. You know, if you picture this documentary of people um, going to places and, and helping out in ways that, you know, you're like, boy, that would be an interesting thing to do, or I could never do that. You know, that that's tr what I'm trying to capture in, this, in the emotion of this next song. So it's called Scandalous Grace. I know Michelle likes that little chord change there. <laughs> and uh, at that, on that note, I'm going to turn it back over to Michelle and uh, enjoy some more from her. If you guys want to close that door, if it's bugging you, go ahead and feel free to close it. I didn't realize it was open, so you're good? Okay. I'm used to it. <laughs> um, so I've been trying to figure out what songs to play for you tonight because I don't want to play the same songs at every concert and have you guys be like, well, we already gone to a Michelle McLaughlin concert. <laughs> so I've been practicing a bunch of my older stuff and unfortunately, like all of my older stuff, the stuff that I want to play for you is like really hard to play. So I try and play songs that I'm really comfortable with. So I'm going to attempt this. This is from my album, Dedication. 
and the name of it is Dedication. The song is um, about following your dreams and being able to stick with it and actually make your dreams come true because we all are capable of making our dreams come true, we just have to work hard at it. And this particular song, when I was writing it, was really difficult to play, and so it was my goal to be dedicated to finish the song. And mm -hmm. so now I'm going to try and play it. So, dedication. <laughs> <laughs> is on my my well I have I want to say my latest album but it's not my latest album because Christmas Plain and Simple 2 is my latest album but that's a Christmas song and I'm, I'm an album and I'm not going to play anything from that today because it's not Christmas time outside <laughs> <laughs> um, so, almost, so there's the sure. latest before that I know almost like right <laughs> well the last concert we had here in, in April it was snowing the day everyone came and we had to yeah so winter time and or spring time in Utah <laughs> Um, so Out of the Darkness is my most recent all original album and that album is um, an album that is a story album about my divorce in 2009 so it's basically a musical diary of that whole experience for me and all of the songs on that, al on that album are presented in, on the album in order that they were written 
so it really is you can you know it starts off with the with my despair and my sadness and you know my life is over and I'm never gonna make it through to me going all right I can you know this is okay and then me going yes this is the greatest thing that has ever happened to me <laughs> and so this is this is what the album is and, and this particular song um, on the album is called out of the darkness it's the title track and it is about the moment that I realized I'm all right, this is good, and I'm happy, and life, you know, there's so much more to life than this, this tragedy that I've experienced. And so that's what this is, is uh, Out of the Darkness. intermission but before we do um, I have several things I want to tell you about um, number one for all of you online viewers if you email me at cozycorner at michelle during this intermission um, you'll, your name will be entered into a drawing to win a free CD at the end of the show so be sure to email me um, secondly all of you there are mailing list sign up cards on the corner of the counter here you can sign up for mine um, for John's for cozy corners or for whisperings or none of the above 
Um, but sign, but fill it out because then I'll collect them at the end of the show and I'll give, we're going to give away CDs. Um, and then also, there is, um, over by my CDs, there is an album called Whisperings um, Solo Piano Volume 1. And below that, there are cards for Whispering Solo Piano Radio. Um, if you like this kind of music, this kind of music broadcasts on that station online at solopianoradio.com, 24 hours a day, nonstop. Um, you can listen to it for free with commercials, or you can do um, a paid subscription with a wider library of music and no commercials. Um, and this is where John and our, we, our both of our music um, is played there. And the album that is um, behind the cards is there are 16 artists. They're all solo piano. Um, Whispering Solo Piano Artists. We recorded all of the songs up at Piano Haven Studio in Seattle, which is Joe Bongiorno's studio. Um, it's an amazing album. So if you want an, a, a variety album, that's the album to get. Um, but check out John's album and um, enjoy the hors d'oeuvres. The back deck is open, so mingle outside. It gives you some fresh air and a little bit more room to, the what? Oh, CDs are $10 each. And if you want sheet music, um, do you have any sheet music? I have one. Okay, John has one, and I have a whole lot of sheet music. And if you want it, let me know what the title is, and I can you can I can email it to you. You can purchase it, and I can email it to you right from my iPad. So, if you want sheet music. So anyway, intermission, 20 minutes. Enjoy. <laughs> Podcast. Please enjoy selections from our future Cozy Corner concert artists. Be sure to send an email to Cozy Corner at michellemclaughlin.com during this intermission to enter into the free CD giveaway at the end of the show.
Are you enjoying the piano music you're hearing on this broadcast? If so, you can hear music like this 24 hours a day at solopianoradio.com. Whispering Solo Piano Radio offers beautiful solo piano music from tonight's artists as well as many others. Visit solopianoradio.com for more information.
Thank you for tuning in to our concert broadcast. Please enjoy selections from our future Cozy Corner concert artists. Be sure to send an email to cozycorner at michellemclaughlin.com during this intermission to enter into the free CD giveaway at the end of the show. For more on Cozy Corner, please visit www.cozycornerconcerts.com. Please help support this and future broadcasts by clicking on the donation link at the Cozy Corner website or by sending your donation through PayPal to cozycorner at michellemclaughlin.com. Thank you for your support and we hope you enjoy the rest of the concert. Thank you for tuning in to our concert
play some music to get you all to be quiet and sit down. <laughs> and it didn't work. We need a whistle. No, we're partying. You're, I know. You can party after the concert. Really? That's right. Here we go. My parents are a rowdy bunch. <laughs> So, we're going to start back up, and we're going to have John come back up to the piano, and he's going to play a few songs, and then I'll come back up afterwards. So, please welcome John back. Yay! Hey, John! All right. You guys need to come to every concert. Did you guys need to come to every concert? Well, we live in two different places. I know. Neither of which is here. We travel elsewhere. So. <laughs> That's right. Boy, life is tough. But she comes to my house and gives me private concerts. Private concerts. That's right. All right, John's turn. John can do a private concert. Oh, do it. 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 Uh, I woke up at two o'clock uh, in the in the morning, and I had an idea for a song. I, it's never happened since. I don't know what, what it was, but if I took her name and turned her the letters of her name into a melody, what would it sound like? And obviously, there's no R on the keyboard, but uh, back then we had digital pagers. Uh, so the R and the A looked identical. So I did A E B E C C A, and uh, that's um, okay. So that's the melody. I took her name and I thought, well, how can I capture other aspects of her personality? And this is what I came up with.
that's from my album The Golden Road, and I'm about to play the title track of The Golden Road. The theme for that is uh, Growing Up, and that was the first album I produced. It took about, I guess it was 13 years to make. Oh, my God. So, oh. <laughs> yeah. So, we'll, uh, uh, this, this one's a little more fun. I'm going to hand it back over to Michelle for wow. a couple, three, four, three. three, and then I'll be back. Very nice. Thank you. Okay, so here's my second hard song of the night. <laughs> it's also from Dedication. Um, we took a trip to Rome when um, early 2007 well, to Italy and to Greece, and it was this amazing trip over to Europe. And Rome was amazing because I loved the ancient, like, like, like the, the Colosseum, and I loved the Roman Forum and the Pantheon. And, and so um, this song is just about the, you know, the majestic part of Rome and the ancient part. And I can just imagine old Romans coming in on their chariots and gladiators fighting, and it just is, you know, so it's called the Eternal City.
awfully nice. <laughs> okay, so I have a new song, and I played it um, a couple concerts ago, and it <laughs> it made my cousin Cheryl cry. And so afterwards, I asked her about it, and she said that the song made her feel really hopeful because they were going through a really hard time and the song made her feel like everything that they'd been experiencing and everything they were going to go through um, was going to be okay. And so I played it again a little while later and I still hadn't titled it at that time and I was up visiting my family um, in Vernal for Mother's Day weekend and I played the song for my parents and told them the story about how it made Cheryl cry. <laughs> and uh, mom suggested, she said, well you should call it Cheryl's Hope. And I was like, that is an amazing title. And so I have named it, and the song is in dedication to Cheryl, yeah. and it's called Cheryl's Hope. Thank you. 
decide what I was going to end with, and I'm feeling a little brave, and I, if I make mistakes, then I'll, <laughs> whatever. So, um, this month is the two-year anniversary of my divorce, and there's a song on my album called So Long, Mr. Selfish, <laughs> and uh, so how the song came about, my, my friend Jenny, when I was really struggling and I was really down, she's like, you need to write an angry song. You need to let this anger and emotion out on the piano, and, and we kind of joke, we call this piano the beef because she says it's super beefy. <laughs> and so I told her, I said, I'm afraid if I wrote an angry song, I would injure the beef. <laughs> and, uh, and so I attempted to sit down and write this song. And what, what, kind of, what it started out with is, it started off as this, you know, I, it, to me that's a little angry. But then the upper hand comes in and it's totally comical and Broadway-ish. And I didn't intend it to be that way, but that's how it ended up. So this is my attempt to play So Long, Mr. Selfish. <laughs> You know, I, 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 I don't know how to follow that. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> song I'm going to play is called Zuzu's Petals and it uh, it was inspired by my girls dancing around while well, I was playing I was composing this and my girls were all in their princess dresses dancing around the, the piano in the, the living room and uh, and and so for some reason it brought to mind that scene in uh, It's a Wonderful Life where uh, the daddy takes the, the Zuzu's petals and sticks them in his pocket and just that sense of um, purity and remembering what's important. You know, the, the, those petals helped him remember what, what was really important. So this is called Zuzu's Petals.
they were very pretty dancing in their little dress. <laughs> yeah, dragged the rug out of there. And, uh, I have an 11 year old, a uh, nine year old, a seven year old, and I have a five year old boy. So, yeah, two years apart. Whoa. Quite a handful. <laughs> but we love them. And uh, yeah, we do. The, uh, the next song is called In the Shadow of Your Wing, and it was inspired by a lady who helps women get out of prison, or as they come out of prison, get back on their feet. Take some, uh, help some, you know, get clothes and get a job and that sort of thing. So <clears throat> I had this picture of her kind of as a mama bird, uh, taking care of her young, you know, that sort of thing. So I created a song where you can, all, you can hear a bird song in it if you listen closely, so um, see if you can pick it out. It's time to give away some CDs. <laughs> <laughs>
Am I correct? Awesome. So, so I got some winners. I'm so deserving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, to start with, our online viewers, we have three winners. Um, we have Kim Muck. Congratulations. I will email you offline and we'll get you a CD. Um, oh, Kim Muck, um, uh, Seattle. I think yes. you're in Seattle. Um, Ed Gillantine didn't tell me where he was. Ed Gillantine, if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, I'm, so, I'm sorry. He's from Memphis. Memphis, okay, congratulations. Yeah, nice. And then Scott Hobbs. Do you know who Scott Hobbs is? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so oh, congratulations yeah. also. Yeah. Okay, did everyone fill out that wants to be in the drawing? Yes, okay. Yeah. So we're going to have Kathy draw. Oh. Okay. Well, actually, if you have Kathy draw, then Brandon. Oh. Brandon wants to draw, too. Yeah, let Brandon. And the winner is? The winner is Lisa Mountain. <gasps> okay, so we have Tim Remark. He was here last at the last Cozy concert. Phenomenal. This okay, is his album influence. Okay. Um, we have Scott D. Davis, his album Tahoma. Okay. Amazing. And Joseph Aikens, Spirit Touch. He's coming here in um, December to do a Christmas concert with me. Okay. Which one? The first one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, yeah. Okay, Brandon. She was on you. Thank you. Yay. Yay. Thank you. back and forth a little bit and then we'll end with a big finale so I'm gonna bring the bench forward so we're not as same thing you always same with me
mingle, hang out, have fun. If you play the piano, come up and play. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, enjoy the back deck. Have some food. Hang out. It was awesome. Thanks for Thank coming. You. This was a good concert. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Woo